Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in tonight's video is about the graph paper tool. Somebody sent me an email. Well, actually, they commented off one of my videos. It said when they use the graph paper, they can change it to 10 by 10 or whatever. But they want it, and if you hold down the control key, you'll get 10 squares by 10 squares. But they wanted to know how they could make each one of these squares two inches. So you have to click off of it and click back on it and there's your measurement right there. We need the whole thing to be 20 inches by whoop, 20, in, 20 inches by 20 inches. Now take your smart fill tool and just fill in one of the squares and get it out of the way and now you can see that the square is two by two. So that's how to use the graph paper. And they were also telling me that they were making like a chess set and then filling in, I guess the only thing I can think of is they're filling in with a smart fill tool. Well, there's actually a quicker way to make a chess set than that. And my suggestion was if you want your squares to be two inches, just do this. Just take a rectangle and make a square and make it, if this is locked, and then you could go two inches. Now control, let's move our nudge distance to two inches. Now control D and make a duplicate. Now fill this in with black. Now control D and hit your arrow key twice. Control D, control D, control D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need one more. So just control D that blank one. And now you have that. Control D and make a duplicate and move down two inches. Of course, now you need to take away that smart fill in these and this might be not that much quicker but then fill in your ones you need now take everything control D move down your two inches control D control D control D there's your chest set anyway hope that helped there and answered your question and thank you for watching